In this MathCast, we're looking to find the math behind the ship sailing from point A up to port B. So let's stop the animation for a moment and move T back to zero. And we can see that the bottom left-hand corner of this image, the ship image, is now at point A. If we move T up to one, we see that the bottom left-hand corner is now at point B. And we saw that the ship was sailing at a constant speed from port A to port B. How about when T equals 1 half, 0.5? We can see that the bottom left-hand corner is halfway between A and B, so it's at the midpoint. How can we make that into a math formula that will animate our ship. So we have a point A down here and a point B up here and we want our ship to go sailing on the straight line between A and B and we want it to sail from A to B as T goes from 0 to 1. So we usually write that as is in the interval 0, 1. So we want to find an equation for point P. But P has to be A when T is 0. P has to be B when T is 1. The midpoint when T is 1 half. And it has to go at a constant speed from A to B. So let's write those three things down, first of all. So T equal to 0. We want, that's what that says, P to be A at t equal to 1, we want p to be b. And at t equal to 1 half, we want p to be the midpoint of ab, the line set. So do we remember the formula for midpoint? Sure. So midpoint of ab is equal to A plus B over 2. Now let's write that separately. So what would we write in front of A and what would we write in front of B? Both of them get a 1 half. Okay, now we want to do that up here. So how could we do that? What would we write in front of A? We would write 1 times A and how much B? 0 B because we don't want any B. Here, we would write 0a plus 1b. So that's what we want. We want a formula for p that gives us this when t equals 0, this when t equals 1, and this when t equals 1 half. So the formula, I always have trouble remembering which half goes with which half, but it's 1 minus t times a, because then when t equals 0, this is 1 times a, and now we want t times b. So let's see that this actually works. When t equals 0, we have, we have 1 minus 0 times a plus 0 times b equals a. Check. That's what we want. When t equals 1, we have 1 minus 1 times a plus 1 times b. That is 0 times a, so that's just b. Check. And when t equals 1 half, we have 1 minus 1 half times a plus 1 half times b. Well, 1 minus 1 half is 1 half, so 1 half a plus 1 half b. And that is also check. So this is our formula. Sometimes it's hard to remember which part goes 1 minus and which part just goes t. And you just try it until you kind of remember the formula. But that is our formula for p that gets us from a to b at a constant speed.